Tonight, a recovery from the pandemic. A small valley theater company facing the end of the road last year is now back up and running in a new location with a turbulent past. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia is live tonight in Palm Springs with the inspiring story of the Desert Rose Playhouse. Jake. Karen, good evening to you and what an incredible feat to be opening up a new theater venue right on the tail end of the pandemic. The rehearsals here going on just behind us and through all of the challenges, this theater company has a lesson for us all. I never imagined a year ago that this would be possible. I, I never in a million years did I imagine we would be standing here doing this in this space. You never know where you'll be a year from now. That's the phrase Robbie Wayne and his fiance Matthew McLean have come to live by. This time last year, they were closing down the Desert Rose Playhouse, a small black box theater in Rancho Mirage, one of the first local production companies to shutter. They canceled performances, refunded tickets, and lost tens of thousands of dollars. We went for about three months without being able to open and paying rent, full rent for and no revenue. So we were literally broke broke and we thought like everybody else we were just going to be a victim of this whole COVID thing. With their dreams in jeopardy and the bills piling up came a sign. On the verge of you know what we thought was the darkest time of our life we saw a for lease sign uh, here at the old Zelda's nightclub. In downtown Palm Springs the former nightclub of 43 years was forced to close amid security concerns after multiple violent crimes including a deadly shooting. We thought that was crazy because we had absolutely no money and we you know what how are we going to rent a nightclub in downtown Palm Springs. Within a week they'd crowdfunded enough to sign the lease and then the real work began. It took a lot of insanity. The liquor was on the walls, the bar stools were all here. Everything was just sitting here frozen in time. And restoring the space wasn't the only challenge. Don't forget, this was all in the middle of a global pandemic. A lot of cleaning, a lot of volunteers, and we had to do it on skeletal crews and in shifts so as we could socially distance. Out of the ashes of the pandemic rose a playhouse. This is not just a community theater, but it's the community's theater. So it, this is everybody's place. And through it all comes a lesson about the strength that can come from a little neighborly support. No guts, no glory. And never underestimate the power of the community. When one curtain closes, another one opens. And you never know where you'll be in a year. And guys, back here live, everything in this theater is either left over from Zelda's or paid for by those community donations. Tickets for the next play that they're rehearsing for here behind us are underway uh, or on sale right now. You can buy them at the DesertRosePlayhouse.org. Uh, we'll have a link for you on KESQ.com. We're live tonight in Palm Springs. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.